Welcome to Feed Me Friday and um, we're in for a special treat. I'm going to do a bit of a lunch session, I think. So, um, I, I don't know where I got this from, but I got this from a, a viewer who commented. And this is basically lunch. And with a bit of pitta, no, tortilla wrap, because you know I like wraps. One wrap, it's like a little mini pizza, as it happens. So, wrap, and this is made in real time, with a dollop of, what's this, tomato puree pasty type thing, a knife. Spread it about, like that. As simple as that it is and it's almost like um as i said a pizza and i've i've thoroughly got into these big time wipe on the side i can use it again it's cut kind of half an onion half onion for later on you can put on these pretty much what you want and I'll sharpen the knife a little bit as well. Give it some of that. Give it some of that. Use all of that up, look. See the price of ham, these these ham things go up 50p. Even from um where is it? Where did I get it from? Aldi. Anyway, put some of that on there, like that. And then eat the other one. Mm. Cheese on top. Cheese has gone up as well. I don't know how much of these things are subjected to the fuel prices, but everything seems to have gone up. Um, substantially put the grill on boom oh. come on there we go put this on the grill pan like that and someone's on the phone. And put that in there, like that, while I answer the phone. Oh, nightmare, all the time. Every time I, I do some cooking, I get a phone call. Typical, isn't it? One of the benefits, I haven't actually done any cooking on in the oven, really. Have I done any cooking? I've grilled. I've heated up a pie, but I need to do some cooking in the oven. So um, what have I done this week? Well, I've lit the fire a few times. Um, one, because it was cold enough to light the fire, and the other one was just to understand what the fire's like to light. And the, the, um, the Hobbit, people say, oh, you need to just wear your, your shorts and t-shirt on the boat. Well. I'm not so sure. Maybe I'm not doing it right, which is a distinct possibility as it happens. But um, that fire, very good. And it does heat the whole boat up if I leave all the doors open. I need to wear clothes. Because it doesn't get that hot, to be honest. Wait, here we go. Here we go. Off. And there we have it, like a pizza, but not a pizza, because it's a wrap. Um, and all I simply do, because this is lunch, I would, I, ordinarily, wasn't so long ago, I'd, this does me now, for, for a quick snack, lunch. 
normally I'd have a big something big and, and two of them so that's why I'm losing that's why I'm losing my, my wok I've got a slimline waist the melted cheese does it it is lovely melted cheese you can put in it what you like a bit of onion ham tomato puree on the bottom pile it all on cheese on top grill job done eat and it is a bit of onion there it is lovely anyway stand by for what i'm going to call a prawn surprise the surprise is i don't know what it tastes like anyway catching a bit catch on the flip side as i call it mm. 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 okay swig of tea Oh, so this is called what I've named as a prawn surprise, and uh, the contents of it is one cup of prawns. Now I've done a bowl of prawns, and the reason why I've done a bowl of prawns is because I do like prawns, and that bowl is a lot bigger. I'll just drain that a little bit, and. Um, Oh, I've got away. And they keep disappearing. I don't really understand why. I think the prawn fairy likes them too. And I'm the only person here. So I must be the fairy. So um, a knob of butter. Um, not sure how big a knob is. However, before someone starts to say, it's five foot ten and I'm looking at it I don't think I need that amount of butter it's just a small amount let's move on um, two chopped garlic cloves I've got three because I like garlic I'm not kissing anyone so you know uh, anyway garlic's good for you one cup of long grain rice cooked 24 hours previously and that's the secret apparently again i made this this morning and then put it in the fridge so it's not 24 hours but it's cold i'm not sure if i've done the right thing or not um half cup peas which is optional um and i do like peas and i'm also going to add some mushrooms they're in the freezer, so I don't know how I'm going to work that out. And 125 millimetres, millilitres of thick cream or to suit. Okay, I got the wrong cream. I've got single cream instead of double cream. I don't know if that's going to make any difference. So here we go then. Let, let's chop. Let's chop the old onion up. Generally, cut it up, don't you? That's a bit manky, that bit. These are orgasmic mushrooms. Uh, no, orgasmic onions. I don't think they're any different to normal onions, to be fair. I just think they're onions. Don't think they're going to taste any different. I picked up the wrong onions. That's the reason why I got organic. Maybe add that later. And chop some of these. Finely chop. Um, cloves of garlic I could use my garlic crusher but you know can't bother to get it out and uh, this week on the boat well what have I done I've been to the shops at Watford a few times and the only the reason I had to go a few times is because I, I can only carry so much because I'm on Shanks's pony and those that don't know who Shanks's pony is which is two feet it was always an expression that um, when you're carrying your bergen. Okay, so it says how to cook. Cook the onion and garlic till soft in the butter. So I need to get a knob out. Right, 
knob of butter. This is, um, well, it's not butter really. It's, uh, it's like lure pack, but it's from um, Aldi. The difference being, it tastes like lure pack, half the price, and uh, it's very nice. Cook onion and garlic. Also, I remember someone saying that um, to this woody thing, chopping board, I wanted made out of the wood. Someone said um, it'd be like a massive doorstop. Do you know what? It's been brilliant. I've used it all the time. It's proper nice it is. Uh, which one of these spoons do I need? And I've got some frozen mushrooms because they keep longer. I don't know what that is. Oh, that smells nice. I love the garlic smell. Put some of these in. Another couple that I do. Give it a nice stir. And get the mushrooms in there. Oh, it's gone out. Just missed it. Get in. No. Um, cook onions and garlic till soft in the butter. Add prawns and cook till lightly pink. Now these are cooked prawns. I don't suppose I'll need to cook them for much longer. Add peas. All right. Again. A few of these garden peas. Well, that'll do. Now I'm cooking for one. I think I'll double everything. No, it goes without saying really. Double everything if I was cooking for two. Put that away. Tidy up the kitchen as I go. It's the only place on the boat where I actually know where everything is. Another swig of tea. How many times have I made tea and it's gone cold? Countless. Turn that up a bit. So we've got a bit of a, a stirry thing. Come on. I get impatient actually. What's nice about that is, is the smell. More than anything else, it is oh the garlic in it. Now I think, I think, because I don't know, and it's not on the destructions, I'm gonna add some of this and what do they call it? Lemon. There's a few pips going in there which I've now got to pick out. One pip, two pips. Before I give it a big, oh, I've lost it, lost it. Where's that gone? Oh, there's two in there and I've lost them. Before I give it a stir, I was gonna pick them, them pips out. Is that a pip? No. Oh, admin the rice so once that's thoroughly cooking through and it does look it does look nice honestly there. Now I need to get some cream. Fresh British single cream. Mm. 100. Well it's quite a lot of cream. 
Oh, that's 200 and some odd. Oh, 150. That'll do. Put the cream away. Boat's gone by. Get a bit nosy, didn't you? Nosy neighbors. It's like nosy neighbors, this is. So I've bought some of those, um, these things, a dehumidifier. Stuck one in the kitchen and one in the bedroom. And to be honest, there's not a lot of water gone in there. Now I have noticed whilst on the boat, when I've lit the fire, dries out the boat quite substantially and even my barometer goes from 65 something like that to 40 um, when the fire's going so uh, I bought one of those there very little water in it and one in the bedroom again very little water goes in it so I think these vents mushroom vents do a very good job oh look at that that's give it a quick stir oh I missed it there we go add cream cook it's like a risotto cheers so now I just need to add the cream Um, and this is supposed to be served with bread I think this is going to be plenty just with me Blimey, I don't think I'll be able to eat it all oh sticky pan mate turn the heat down you lunatic mm, it's gonna lick that spoon got to be a good boy why has that gone out so um, what else have I got to tell you? Well, that's about it, really. I'm just waiting for this to cook and then we can eat it. Well, we, I said me. And then, um, <clears throat> because this is new, I don't know whether it's any good. It does look nice. It does smell nice. Um, I'll let you know. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Mmm. Extremely tasty. It's tasty, tasty, very, very tasty. It's very tasty. Now I'll give it a wipe round. Well then viewers. Here we go. Oh, I don't think I'll be, well, this is massive. Mm. Other than it's extremely hot and I'm using a teaspoon because it saves on washing up really, doesn't it? Okay. So, would I eat this again? Yes. I think it would be nice with crusty bread, maybe with some veg, and maybe there's enough here for two. Give it a go. It's well worth it, actually. Mmm. Taste of garlic. Certainly tastes of garlic. And, um, yeah. Thanks for watching, thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing. Um, don't forget No Sandbag Sunday this week. I don't know what I'm doing next week. Sun's out, solar. Uh, lots of editing to do and um, photos to edit. Anyway, keeps me busy. Ciao, Papa.